There was nothing more they could have done. Police officers in Germantown had to take down a German shepherd. They believed it had rabies. It was actually somebody's yeah. pet, though. Tough story. The owner had taken it to the vet to get help, and that's when things went totally wrong. Our Brett Vigansky is in the newsroom with this story. Yeah, and Brad, the dog bit his owner. He jumped out of the car, and he was on the loose for hours. And Germantown police say the dog was foaming at the mouth, was in attack mode, and was a threat to the public at large. He was concerned because his dog was behaving strangely. He had concerns that his dog might have been poisoned or it might have had uh, rabies. The owner of a German Shepherd took his dog to the veterinarian Thursday morning, and just as he was about to get his dog out of the car, his dog bit him and ran away from the area. The odd behavior would continue as the German Shepherd darted in and out of traffic. It was trying to chase cars on Mequon Road and biting at cars. For hours, the dog would elude Germantown police. One of my officers actually bumped the dog with his squad car, but the dog pulled away. Calls continue to pour in, many having this to say. That the dog was foaming at the mouth. By 2 o'clock, police called Germantown High School. Everyone was alerted to that and got on their buses, and, and I'm sure they were alerted that to stay away from them. And at 3 o'clock, the German Shepherd was spotted at Pilgrim and Friedstadt Roads. Officers got close enough to try and retrieve him, but Germantown police say the dog went into attack mode. And had no other option but to dispatch the dog due to concerns for people's safety. We spoke to Dr. Robert Mitchell from the Germantown Animal Hospital, who said given the dog's behavior and condition, it most likely had ferocious rabies, the type that's so severe, even if officers were able to catch the dog, unfortunately, the animal would have to be euthanized. Now here's the next step. The state will examine the dog to see if it indeed had rabies. And at this time, we don't know if the owner of the dog is sick, given the fact that he was bitten by his dog earlier in the morning. Live in the newsroom, Brett Bogansky, Fox 6 News. That's scary. Did the owner speak up? I'm sure that person is just heartbroken. And do we know exactly how police took down the dog? And was the dog charging them, I assume? Well, we asked Dr. Mitchell his, the name of his client. And he said, well, obviously, I can't tell you that information because that's privilege. But I asked uh, the officers how they were taking down the dog. They said, it was either two or three shots with a rifle and just because they got into attack mode they felt that they had no other choice it was an immediate threat and they had to do um, the unfortunate and uh, unpopular thing yeah it's just so sad all right thank you brett for that another animal story here a deer killing disease is spreading in southern wisconsin dead deer have been found in dane sock and walk